We welcome once again to a word for your day for September 11th, Saturday, September 11th. We are not unaware of his scheme. Understanding Satan's scheme. And it comes from uh, second, great, no, second. What's, what's the one? Uh, Corinthians. Well, it's Corinthians. Corinthians. Mm -hmm. Okay, Second Corinthians two eleven. Understanding Satan's scheme. One of Satan's favorite schemes is getting us to use legitimate things in our Ill, illegitimate way. During the wilderness temptation, he tried to take advantage of Christ's hunger by saying, turn these stones into bread, Matthew 4, 3. Uh, but Jesus knew the scripture, so he replied, it is written. A man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds and withhold your donation. We all been uh, uh, created, created with a need for compassion and sexual fulfillment, but Satan will tempt you to focus those needs by having a fail or trapping you into online pornography. We all long to be successful in our career, but Satan will tempt you to achieve those things Lying, manipulating, or blowing someone else lights out in order to let you shine. One of his own schemes is to confuse your value so that good appears to be evil and evil appears to be good. So what's the answer? Paul says, put on the form of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme, Ephesians 6, 11. There is only one way to unmask Satan and defeat his schemes, and that's to do a close walk with God, daily studying the scripture and consistent prayer life. That's how you guard your mind, your mouth, and your morals. Amen. So that last paragraph, and underline that. That's about God. Um, that's the, the whole gist of this lesson. And so we thank you, Lord, for. Uh, your word, and we thank you for your scriptures and uh, your prayer life. As we pray to you, Lord, you guard our mind and uh, our mouth and our mouths. Um, we thank you, Lord, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.